Hi, it's Chris from Craystone Shop, and today we're going to be talking about Francis Francis X1 coffee handles. Okay, so the handles help us determine what generation of X1 machine that you have, which helps us to specify the spur parts and the replacement handles, and also general information about your machine like coffee compatibility. So let's start with the first generation machine. This was both an ESE pod and ground coffee machine. If we take a look at the ground coffee handle, uh, the underside didn't have a spout, just two holes which were cast into the body of the handle. Now, uh, it utilised single and double baskets, they just pop in and out, depending on whether you want a single or a double shot. Uh, the maximum width uh, from lug to lug, where it locates in the group pen, is 66 millimetres. And here we see the underside again, the two holes. These handles are no longer manufactured by Francis Francis. They are very difficult to source new. We believe that we have the last few and you can purchase them from the coffee handles section on our website at craystoneshop.co.uk. So in late 2003, the X1 was upgraded uh, with brass boiler internals and it became known as the second generation machine. There's uh, quite a few differences in the handles to the first generation. The ground coffee handle in particular has a metal screw on spout. Um, the, the handles themselves are wider and longer than the first generation. 71 millimeters at the widest point, 193 millimeters long. The biggest uh, difference, as I mentioned already though, is the screw on metal spout. It also had a special two-part tamper. Now, after you put your coffee in the basket, you tamped it down and the base of it was left in place and inserted into the machine with the base still there. Okay, the second generation machine with its all new brass internals also utilised a separate handle for pods, just like the first generation machine. The the handle had three interchangeable pod filters. The pod was simply put on top of the filter and the handle positioned into the machine. In 2007, along came the third generation of the Francis Francis X1 machine. In the UK, this was sold as a ground coffee only machine. The dimensions of the handle were the same as the second generation machine, that is 71 millimeters across. There are a few significant differences over the second generation handle though. So don't forget, this machine only takes ground coffee. Uh, single and double baskets were the same, but the significant difference was the push on spouts. Black plastic push on spouts compared to the metal screw on spout. In 2007, when the third generation machine was released in the UK as a ground coffee only machine, it was simultaneously released as a pod only machine in both Europe and the Americas. Okay the trio handle is 71 millimeters at its widest point. It has a black plastic liner to house the ESE pod so it fits snugly inside the handle. It utilizes the same black plastic push on spouts as the ground handle. Now this trio handle can only be used in a trio machine which only takes pods. So that's X1 trio, X3 trio and the X6 trio machine. The final handle I need to talk about is the Iper Espresso handle. Now this handle has no baskets, no spouts, the capsule simply fits inside and is located into the group head of the machine. It's 60 millimeters across. Now this handle uh, is utilized by the X7 machine, the X7.1 machine and the limited availability X1 capsule machine. So hopefully now you know exactly what machine you have. If you need to get in touch, just do it via the website or send us an email to info at craystoneshop.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.